Thank you. Uh, I don't normally bring candy to a party, but um, I'm going to set this down for a second. Okay, to kick this off, uh, we're going to play a game. I'm sure you guys have all played a variation of this before. Um, and everyone loves to donate to charity. So you guys, guess how many jelly beans are in this bowl? And email me your guess in the subject line of your email. So heather at azuqua.com. Put the number of your guess in the subject line of your email. And then we'll, uh, we'll touch on this in a little while, see who the winner is. Um, so while you guys are doing that, Azuqua, so you guys are probably like, you're crazy. How are you going to count all these guesses in four minutes? Um, so Azuqua is running right now. Um, I built, uh, Azuqua is a workflow automation service that automates your business processes by connecting your cloud applications together. I took a few minutes yesterday to set up this workflow. Um, so while I'm talking, it's logging all of your guesses. And at the end of this presentation, I'm going to pull up another flow to find the person who's closest. Enough about candy. Let's talk about customers. So, uh, WestMed Medical Group. Uh, the American Heart Association introduced guidelines that negatively impacted how doctors were interacting with their patients. They uh, were spending way too much time trying to figure out how and when to calculate their patients' heart risk scores. So, their IT team, WestMed IT team, used Azuqua to connect their patient data uh, values, so like the uh, heart risk value, cholesterol levels, et cetera, um, so that when a doctor is meeting with a patient, all they have to do is pull up a tablet, find out if they need to uh, calculate an updated heart risk score for that patient, click a button, and then Azuqua connects all that. So right away, the doctor is able to say, hey, let's talk about why your uh, heart Heart, heart risk score is a little high. Maybe we'll just go easy on the beer. Um, so, <laughs> um, we want you to make friends here. You know that, right? <laughs> Sorry, I'm new here. Um, so let's jump into industrial IoT, GE. So GE was losing a lot of revenue because the efficiency of their processes around uh, maintenance on their equipment in the fields was really inefficient. Um, so, like, they have wind turbines in the, in the field with sensors on them, right? The temperature's too high. Hey, team, go fix that. By the time the team gets there, another team's already been there to fix it. So they have all this data spread out in all three of their systems. They have the data about the assets, um, like their service status. They have the location of these maintenance teams. And then they have the sensor data that's coming in real time. But there was no way to connect these. So, we use Azuqua. Um, their team connected these three data services so that in real time, uh, any person managing the maintenance at that hour could see, hey, this wind turbine's temperature's too high. Let's find the closest team to go and address that, update the status of that uh, equipment, and, and then uh, they recouped a lot of their revenue. Surprise. Um, <laughs> Okay, so I don't know about you, but I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Who won? This doesn't count against my time, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Zuqua. This is the other flow I built in a matter of minutes yesterday with no code required. Um, it's, I'm going to kick it off, and it's going to automatically determine who's closest uh, to the number of jelly beans in this jar. So I'm just going to hit play. Ooh. So <laughs> someone got an email. Let me know if you win, and we can coordinate so that uh, we can donate to the charity of your choice. And... That's a wrap. You'll, you'll find it. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all I have. Oh, yeah. Questions? Yeah, who won? 
Uh, like in Azuqua? Yeah. Um, you just have to authenticate uh, with your services in Azuqua, and then it's a matter of dragging and dropping the data fields, inputs to outputs. And voila, no code. I'm not a developer, but I'm a really good programmer. Uh, <laughs> <programming>? <laughs> Proprietary term, don't go crazy. <laughs> Okay, fine. 619. Oh. And we did count every one, I swear. <laughs> we do have some extra jelly beans if anyone wants one. Man, don't everyone jump up. Yes. Yeah, so this is even cooler than ETL because it's continuous. So. You define the formats. Um, it, it can be like a one and done setup, but it's constantly running. Oh, sorry. He said it. Oh, let me make sure I don't mess this up. ETL, is it? Uh, oh, I was just asking about ETL, whether uh, it does all the transformations. Does it matter what the format is? So, and I said, this is even better than ATL because it's continuous, but you set up, or you define the data types in the system and how to translate them. So it's an initial one-time setup, but then it just runs. One more. Man, <laughs> tough crowd. <laughs> I, yeah, thank you.